Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Mythic bringing you guys another video and in today's video I'm gonna be bringing you guys the best center builds in NBA 2K21 action Now if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new hit post noties And there's going to be three builds through this entire video So if you guys don't like the first one, there's gonna be two more right after so stay tuned now Let's get right into the video now for the first build we are going to make a position center and for the height we're going to go seven feet tall we're going to go 215 pounds with a seven foot ten wingspan now body shape i'm going to pick burly just so i can look as big as possible because i'm seven foot you might as well make him as big as you can and what we're going to do is driving layup we're going to max driving dunk we're going to max standing dunk we're going to max and post control we're going to put at 32 so we can hit 12 finishing badges now for shooting i'm going to max the mid range and the three ball and for free throw i'm going to put it at a 37 this build isn't going to have a ton of shooting badges so if you want shooting badges go ahead and check the other two builds after this now for pass accuracy we're going to go ahead and max it and we're going to max everything pretty much besides the speed with ball we're going to put at a 49 so we can hit 15 playmaking badges now this is going to be key because we can get hall of fame bullet passer unpluckable and you can pick whatever you want you can get dimer on this build you can get floor general so if you don't want your guard to run floor general or dimer you're going to be able to run it on this build now for defense we're pretty much going to max out everything besides interior defense we're going to put at an 81 and that's going to come in handy i'm telling you especially because you're gonna have 28 defensive badges you're basically gonna be max i'm pretty sure yeah that is max you're gonna have max defensive badges possible so if you want to build that as really good defense playmaking and finishing this is going to be the build you want to make and for the speed we're gonna max it excel we're gonna max it and then also stamina we're gonna put at a 93 and you have to make sure you got a good vertical so we're gonna put that at 84 and you see the strength is already maxed out so this is gonna be the build 12 finishing 7 shooting 15 playmaking 28 defensive you're gonna be a seven foot actual center so if you guys wanted an actual center here's the perfect build for you now for takeovers i don't really know what i'd go with honestly i really do like glass cleaning and probably glass cleaning dimes or even see the future is going to be really good and i do know that stuff blocks and paint intimidation are also two really good badges to pick from or if you want to be a good shooter since you only have seven badges you can put on like spot up it doesn't really matter but for the video we're just gonna pick stuff blocks and interior badge drop even though those two are probably not the ones i'd rock with and as you guys see it's going to be a post facilitator you see a ton of people rocking builds just like this with this exact name this is going to be the first build in the video now for the second build we are going to make a power forward who is six foot eight 210 pounds with a seven foot six wingspan where we're going to max the wingspan lower the weight all the way and he's going to be six foot eight and if you guys are concerned about it being a power forward i'm telling you guys it doesn't matter i'm six seven on my scoring machine and i'm still able to snag on center so being six eight and extra in is definitely going to help and i don't even have this high of a wingspan so i'm telling you guys off rip it will not matter now you're going to have 17 shooting badges which is really really good you're going to have 77 free throw max your three ball max your mid range and what we're going to do for finishing is we're going to put a 70 driving layup max the driving dunk you're also going to want to max the standing dunk and post control i'm going to put at 50 so we can hit 13 badges now for playmaking we're going to put 61 pass accuracy so at 99 we'll be able to get bullet passers i feel like that's like one of the most crucial badges in this entire game ball handle we're going to put at a 54 we're not even going to be close to maxing it but as you guys see you will be able to get unpluckable and that is key in having a build like this and for speed with ball we're going to put it at a 68 so we can get to five playmaking badges so you can rock like silver bullet passer gold unpluckable or vice versa it doesn't really matter now interior defense we're going to put it at a 55 just so we can have it and perimeter defense also at a 76 because you guys see at 80 you get gold clamps and that is also going to be crucial because you want to be able to guard the perimeter on some builds and this build is going to be able to guard perimeter and it is also going to be able to guard the interior so if you guys are looking for a build that can do pretty much everything this is definitely going to be the build you guys want to make and for stamina we're going to put it at a 78 and then we're just going to max the strength as much as we can which gets us to a 60 as you guys see the badge layout is 13 finishing 17 shooting 5 play making 23 defensive and for takeovers you get finishing you get shooting and glass cleaning so probably on this build what you're going to want to do is probably like spot up precision and if you really want to, you can go double spot up or you can get something like glass cleaning. I'm just going to put glass cleaning on it for now. And the build is called a three level scorer. You can pretty much do everything. Like I said, you can finish. You can play really good defense. You can shoot lights out. You can pretty much do everything. And this is going to be the second build. Now for the third and final build, we are going to pick position power forward. And for height, we're going to pick six foot eight, 215 pounds, seven, six wingspan. And I'm picking body shape burly again. Now what's different on this one is we're going to have way more badges on this guy. You guys are going to see. 
But you see, Driving Dunk and Standing Dunk, we're going to max all the way. And for Driving Light, we're going to put it at a 91 for 20 total finishing badges. And what we're going to do for shooting is we're going to max the three, max the mid range, And for free throw, we're going to put it on 60. And as you guys see, that gives us 20 finishing and 13 shooting off rip. Now, what we're going to do for playmaking is we're going to max the ball handle. We're going to max the speed with ball and also pass accuracy. We're going to put at an 83 just so we can get to 19 total playmaking badges. Now, for perimeter defense, we're going to put it at a 76. Steel, we're going to put at an 89. And then we're going to max the block, offensive, and defensive rebound, which will give us 28 total defensive badges. And also, we're going to max the speed and excel because you have to do that. And for stamina, we're going to put it at a 79 with the vertical at an 82, just so you can jump a little bit as well, just because if you feel like you're undersized, you want to have that vertical. There it is. And for strength, we're going to put it at a 55 so you don't get bullied down in the paint if you have to guard a post score. Now, if you're one of those people who believe interior does not matter, this is definitely the build for you. You can play perimeter defense. You'll be able to get clamps because like I said in the previous build, 80 perimeter defense is all you need to get gold clamp you're gonna be fast you're gonna be able to shoot and you're gonna have 20 finishing badges now you guys do see the takeover slashing shooting playmaking and glass cleaning now what's interesting is you do get playmaking takeover i don't know the requirements for playmaking takeover but it's pretty cool that this build does get it but what i would probably pick is like spot at precision and honestly i'm just gonna pick playmaking for now obviously that's probably not what you guys would go with as you guys see it is a playmaking three level score somehow compared to Giannis and zion williamson this build is really op this actually might be the best build in the video i'm not sure let me know down in the comments if you guys are planning on using or creating any of these builds these are probably the three best centers in the game in my opinion hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video that's all i got for today make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new but that's all i got for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it's been your boy mythic peace out